，就你一个人吗？我还有两个朋友在那边，他在那边逛呢。对面到底是几大哥，你们这边村子好像大家都有车耶。基本上都有，基本上都有，每家每户都有。哇，有些是不止一个。啊，啊，那还挺有钱的哟。<笑>啊！不过能力都有不动。哎呦，不是，咱咱们年年去。This is the most famous hot spring in Tibet, surrounded by the beautiful mountains. And uh, this hot spring is said to be have many, many therapeutic effects. And people from not from only from Tibet, but also from Bhutan, from Nepal, come here and stay for a while to treat all kinds of diseases. All those little houses, they are different hot spring houses. There are 14 spring mouths and 12 individual bathrooms separated from each other. Each mouth is said to have specific healing power. This pool is called Argan Pool, so this one kills all kinds of arthritis, kidney problems, and also all, all kinds of skin itches and also knee problems. And it's very inconvenient to show you because I was just inside. Man, women together,、uh, they are naked. I don't want to make my video of pornography, so, and I just want to explain you the situation inside.、Uh, this one, the thing I went there. There was a pool in the middle, and then people circling around and make beds around the pool to have a rest. This one, Jia Ji Chi. It kills eye disease, ear disease, heart disease, and balance your blood pressure. This one is called Jing Yu Chi. So this is good for kidney disease if you have a pain in the wrist, etc. Not everyone speaks Mandarin Chinese. Most of them only speak Tibetan languages, so it's very hard to strike a conversation. So you see, many people come a very long way from all over Tibet. They carry a lot of luggage, the blanket with them, because they're going to stay here for a couple of weeks. Before going to the hot spring,、uh, they got prescriptions from the Tibetan doctor in the village. Then they go to the corresponding rooms. Hot water? Yes, we are also going to hot water. Oh. Ah, doctor, where are you from? I'm from Lhasa County. Lhasa? Ah. How long did you come here? Today is about ten days. Ten days? Ah. How long did you come here? About ten days. Ten days? Ah. 
。那你每天就是换着不同的尺子泡吗？这个有个这个仗义。哦，有仗义。他给我们看了，就是，呃，换哪个那个尺子就要他来说。啊，有用吗？这个泡温泉？哦，这个温泉是有个，有出名的。哦。很管用的，很管用的啊！最少得要住七天，最少要七天是吧？嗯、有的住三天，有的住三天啊！多大年龄了？我三十三，就是我看起来小姑娘嘞。<笑>嗯，好，谢谢大哥。嗯，那你忙啊？啊、嗯，好的好的。其他没啥是吧？啊、嗯，没啥，我就是一会儿去泡一下。对对对，泡一下。好，啊，再见再见。好。Among all the twelve rooms, the most reputed, most magic, and most crowded room is called Eagle Hot Spring. And it is said that it can kill. For example, if you break your leg, if you break your arm, it can help you to recover very fast. So there is a story behind that. Like long time ago, a eagle broke、uh, the wings, and then it. Flow into this hot spring. Seven days late, later, he recovered and went away. And hence the name. This hot spring is so magic that many people have dropped their walking stick here, wheelchair and walking stick. Story came that people who come on wheelchair can stand up and throw their walking sticks. I am, of course, very suspicious. After all, it's just hot spring water, and each room flows the same water. But it seems all visitors here are very satisfied with what they get. 这边有很多人在泡，现在。他们这个泡法呢是，泡十分钟左右出来休息一下，所以这外面这样有一个厅，他们自己拿着地垫的会睡在这儿泡一会儿，然后出来休息一会儿，泡一会儿出来休息一会儿。大姐泡好了啊！大西得嘞，对对对，大西得嘞啊！你你你你们那个腿好，好点了吗？好腿好点没有？痛吗？行啊，好点了啊，好点了。泡了多久了？不是就等完了？哦，泡了五天了。哎，这是这是。小胖也泡。叫啥名字？名字都是不叫啥名字？We actually want to make a clip of how it looks like inside, but you know, since it's a man and a woman together, and many of them are naked, we went to several hot springs, and it is filled with naked people. So, so we are trying the third one. Hello. This is the only hot spring that was less people, so we decided to stay here and、uh, have a photo bath. Actually, every hot spring is pretty much similar. In the center, there is a there is a pool, and then there are some changing rooms, and those are the room for people to have a rest. New housings were established in recent years. This also allowed locals to make a living by hosting travelers. The facilities are simple and affordable. For 25 yuan, one can get a bed in a guest house with their own sleeping bag, or 50 without it. Twelve o'clock at noon. The sunshine is strong. People come out of the bathrooms. They make bed, lie down, and cover themselves with blankets. They are going to have a good nap, and we will be on the road again. This is called Zhongying Bianjie Dingyi Chun, like the, the the village that is very close to India border. It's only five kilometers away from India border. We're just discussing、uh, the road to go this afternoon. Now it's four thousand seven hundred meters. Yeah, I I have some altitude sickness. I can feel it. 
It's not easy to breathe. This is a landscape. Nihanda 比如炒个菜，上面烘个饼子啊，会有一种独特的香味儿。现在晒干了，已经完全没味道了。真的吗？真的没味道，你要不要尝一下？So on the roof are the the waste from the cows. They use it as a as a uh, fuel. It's not stinky at all. So that's their firewood. I put it back. Although this is a border town, but um, the living standard here is quite good. So every family has quite big house. Uh, almost every family has a car. In many of the border town in China, um, the government provide them some kind of allowance monthly in order to compensate the harsh environment. Now it's a farming season. All the farmers are busy growing barley. Barley, if I am right, in Chinese it's called chinko. That's the only grain that can grow on this latitude. And this can grow only once every year. And again, they speak limited Mandarin Chinese. Uh, it's uh, it's hard to communicate, but they are still uh, quite friendly. They try their best to make us understood. Despite the language barrier, Zhao who can strike up a conversation with almost anyone got on the tractor. He wants to, to drive the tractor. You want to drive Yes, like the tractor. Okay, let's try. But it's already dry, then we'll start. You want to drive? You want to drive? Yes, I'm going to drive. The sound has already changed. So she's uh, spreading the barley, barley seeds.
这是德勒<笑> 是不是这边国家会补助的比较高呀<笑> 四千三的时候还好对等会儿我给你开一下嘛这边你开一下你就可以看到在哪里安徽的能看见不按一下按一下这个地方按这个就拍照对你们晚上住县里吗还是晚上会往下走吧哦这回事看着呃不到是看着可
。哦，这是羊的。哦，羊的，羊的。哦，羊的啊，羊的，羊肉串儿。你们来多久了？两个月了。三个月。两个月。两个月。那开始的时候不缺氧吗？缺氧。也缺氧。现在适应了。都还没好适应。还没有。哇。还有还有，你必须学我，要不要？哈哈哈哈哈。They are originally from Sichuan province and the. They come here for work. Ah, ah. You have a lot of money. Come to the house to work. Have a lot of money. Have a lot of money. This one, right? 回去可以舒服一下了。嗯。It's really hard When they come back, they will feel this discomfortness. Tibet is really the place where you can feel this remoteness so strongly. You can feel that you're so close to the sky. The sky is so blue, and sometimes I feel it's it's kind of fake. And at this border town, five kilometers away, that's already India, the Sikkim Sikkim region, in India. Then we left Jiru village and continued west. The snow mountains lie on the horizon, the landscape is vast, and there is no one single tree. The wind brings up the sand, and it's getting hard to see. It's so windy and cold, we dare not to stay outside for too long, and then we turned south to Chen Tang Town. Another hard to reach corner in Tibet and where the Xiao Pass live. We descended into moist air, the mountains began to turn green, and we felt that we were able to breathe again. Again, we descended into the Himalaya Valley, but this time we reached Nepal border. And the next day, we woke up in this incredibly beautiful paradise. 